Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Here we have our team. And this is going to be our team up until the end of the game. You know, everybody's rocking and rolling. We're doing a pretty good job finishing this up. And today we're just going to get to Glory Road. Or as I like to call it, the Glory Hole. We're going to go to the good old Glory Hole. So let's jump out onto our expedition. I left in a, a double battle here. I don't. I like the double battles. I think they're cool to watch. I think they're a lot of fun to participate in. So I left the double battles in here. And I believe we're really trying to level up Gabite. That's what we've been doing the past couple episodes. Or at least um... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, it's rather late here today. Or at least that's been the goal here is to level up Gabite. Uh, Gabite has some okay moves now. He can hold his own. Going up against water types is a bad idea for him, but he's doing okay. And we know that Wingle isn't gonna be much of a hurdle for him to get over. Gets a little bit of EXP there. Luxray use Spark. That should be enough to take out Marill. Marill's not a strong Pokemon, so I have no concerns. Oh yeah, everybody getting EXP. Quagsire. Quagsire is always a pain in the ass. We don't have like a, a dedicated grass type at this point, so it's it's always a struggle. <coughs> Do you dig on Quagsire, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there, nothing's going to be really effective against Quagsire, which sucks. I think Golduck should be a simple... Thunderbolt and he's down. Thunderbolt. Get Golduck out of here. Should be enough EXP for Gabite to level up, maybe. Yep, Gabite and Gyarados. So Gabite's actually not that far off level from the rest of our team. You know, he's catching up, and th that's really been the goal. Get him to catch up. That's going to be super effective against Luxray, but... Luxray's our all-star, pretty much. You know, it's quite a few levels ahead of everybody else, so... I think even at level 40, a Dragon Claw should be enough to take down Wingle. And then we should just use Crunch on Quagsire. That's the only thing that's going to be effective anyway, so... <laughs> Thanks to the Quick Claw, it can attack first. Oh, but Wingle did a Quick Attack, so... No hope there. And then Quagsire goes down. Yeah, there's nothing super effective about that move, but it's just the fact that Luxray was level 56, now level 57, so it's doing a lot more damage than it should be doing, because these Pokemon are all, like, level 40s. And Togekiss levels up to level 55. <clears throat> and a Pelipper comes out. Um, yeah, it's Pelipper. You know, his mouth is shaped like a big old toilet bowl. I think I've shared numerous times how I feel about him as a Pokemon. He's just nothing exciting. Just the usual BS. Dragon Claw doesn't kill him. That's because he has buff stats, because he is an evolved form of another Pokemon. But you can see as soon as we give him any sort of electrical attack, he's down for the count. You just can't compete. Done with my dreams. Inhale, exhale. Just got an ounce in the mail. <laughs> but uh, what is this? Gavite is evolving. That was a little bit of Cypress Hill there for those who did not get the joke. And now we have our pseudo legend of the generation. Garchomp. Dragon ground typing. With his wings, he looks like a jet plane. He wants to learn crunch. Yes. Crunch is a solid move for him to know, at least at this point. 80 damage is pretty good. And it kind of covers some bases. <sighs> but what do I want to get rid of? I think I'll get rid of Dragon Breath. We only really need one strong Dragon move. Because 
honestly, we're gonna be outclassed from Gar- Uh... I forget her name. Cynthia's Garchomp. So he's gonna move quicker than our Garchomp, so likely he's just gonna take us out when we go to beat him anyways, so... It's not like we need the dragon advantage. I'm kind of counting more on Gyarados for that. But then you can see here we get into this other fight. I didn't know that I left this in. Uh, I guess I did just to show off Garchomp a little bit. Just so you could see what he looks like. You know, standing out there fighting. Tentacruel. Which actually I was just looking at our Pokedex. Uh, Tentacruel is one of the only Pokemon I have not seen in this generation. And I won't see him. Because. Well. To be quite honest, um, once I finish up with the game, if I don't see him by then, that's it. I'm not going to play any of the post-game here. Um, after I lost the ability to get the Legendary a few days back, my demeanor towards playing this game has been less than fun. So, But that was just to see Garchomp there. Let's shoot up to where we need to go. The good old glory hole. Need to visit it once a month. That's what the doctor recommends. So here we are at the end of this watery trail, and you can see if we didn't get Waterfall, we wouldn't have been able to progress, but because we have it from Jasmine, we can progress farther on. And there's the glory hole itself. Look at it. It's rather big. <laughs> um, we go in here and we heal up. You know, the usual. So let's go ahead and heal on up. Doodly do. And now we're gonna go through the good old glory hole. How fun. I always love it in here. Never a headache at all. Victory road ahead. And let's, yeah, we just jump, like, straight towards the end of it here. Um, it's a long maze, like it is in every other game. You have to push rocks around, you have to break certain rocks, don't break certain rocks, push things in certain ways. You know the drill, if you've ever played any of these games. They stick to their formula, and they stick to it well. You can see I'm still leveling up Garchomp, and Garchomp was, like, the man throughout this whole area. Like, he could really handle anything that was coming at him. I switched in uh, Gyarados here and there to help out with some of the rock types. But even then, I mean, Garchomp with Dig has been able to handle, like, everything that's come its way. Now, Gyarados, he is not going to be able to handle. So we're going to switch into Luxray to take care of Gyarados, of course. Let's go ahead, Luxray. Let's get it done. And I'm, I'm really trying to get these cranked out here because it is getting relatively close to my deadline of saying I want everything done before Christmas. And my whole week with Christmas coming up is screwed up. Um, I know for sure, like, that's why I pre-posted Monday and Tuesday. Now this is going to be the pre-post for Wednesday. I'm not going to be able to record again until Wednesday. So... It's going to be a whole mess getting that finished. On time. On oh, schedule. But I think we can do it. I think we'll have time to get it done. Intimidate. Poor little Gibble. Going up against a Gyarados. Who knows Ice Beam. Yeah, it's the end of his life right there. He's just done. It landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. Thank you, Gyarados. And that's the end of the Dragon Trainer there. So, yeah, not a whole lot to say about the Dragon Trainer. You know? He's a Dragon Trainer. All Dragon-type Pokemon, weak to Ice and Dragon. Not much else. That's... I mean, some of the, the people in there were a little diverse, but they stuck to the usual MO, right? Hikers had ground and rock type and stuff like that. Uh, picnickers, flying type Pokemon, bug type Pokemon, that sort of jazz. So it was very status quo going through there. Everybody was just at a higher level. I think we did see an Alakazam or two, so that's fun. 
for those that don't know, Alakazam is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Let's take a good look here. We're at the Pokemon League. We have made it. I'm trying to see if I can get a good picture and get my little Togekiss to look at me while I'm looking at the Pokemon League, but he doesn't seem to want to do that. I like this. This reminds me a lot of um, one of the Mario on Nintendo 64. I forget the name of the game, but it reminds me of that a lot. Let's heal up. Do doodly do. And there we go. Um, let's take a look at our Pokemon here. I believe the next episode. I'm double checking here quick. I have to see where we're at. Oh no, this one's actually coming out on Thursday. Sorry about that. So the next one coming out tomorrow on Friday is going to be um, more or less training. You know, it'll be relatively quick. I want to show the underground a little bit just because I didn't get the opportunity to do that. And then the following day will be the grand finale of all of this. Hopefully, as long as the Elite Four isn't as challenging as I've heard that it is. And then we'll have our tier list as usual following that. And then we'll be moving on to a new game. Because I don't want to spend any time in the post game here. I haven't had any luck catching legendary Pokemon. You know, maybe that will change in the final episode. Because we still have the three, uh, three legendary Pokemon that went back to their little caves on the lake, friends. So, maybe we'll get the opportunity to go and actually catch them, and maybe that'll put me in a better mood to play some of the the actual post-game with Legends of Arceus coming out. You know, I, th I think that's a big thing. I need to stay excited for Legends of Arceus and not lose all hope because this game has taken that away from me <laughs> for the series. Um, I will say this game was... A lot better than Ruby. At least it has been so far. Uh, Pokemon Ruby really took a lot out of me. I don't know why that game was just not, not a fun game. But I, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, I'm taking the held items from everybody so that way I can assess who needs what. You know, I'm trying to get everybody prepped for their final battles coming up. I'll end up going and getting them some OP moves at the shop that we didn't pick up earlier and training them up a little bit here. I want everybody to be at least level 60 going to uh, the final battle, but th that'll be tomorrow's episode. You know, this is just kind of planning ahead and getting ready for what we are trying to accomplish and hopefully, hopefully we don't have to do too many run throughs through the Elite Four. I'm hoping for just one. Um, if I do more than one, I'll be completely honest about it, but I'm hoping I can get away with just one. Just like one clean run through, and that'll be it. But like I said, we shall see. I give him the black glasses, but I think I immediately give him something else. Yeah, because it, it just doesn't make sense. A metronome would be pretty useful on him, because he does just typically use flamethrower all the time. So that would just mean it l does more effective damage the more times in a row we use it. Amulet coin would be nice too, but we're not going to have a need for money once we finish the game. But I, I think that's legitimately going to be it, guys. Um, it's approaching the end here, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, comment, or even... Consider subscribing, it is free and relatively easy to do, but not going to force anybody to do anything they don't want to. But until the next time guys, we will see you tomorrow, and hopefully by the end of tomorrow we'll be in good shape to take on the Elite Four. Take it easy.